Some residents near Anderson Reservoir in Morgan Hill are being told their homes have to be demolished. The local water agency is offering to buy the homes, and KPX 5's John Ramos has the story. For the people living on Hoot Owl Way in Morgan Hill, the ground is literally shifting under their feet, and the local water district says they have to get out. But the feeling among the neighbors here is that what's causing this is no act of God. Trevor Haller is well aware that the ground is moving under the home he shares with his father. One look at his driveway will tell you that. And when you start noticing half inch cracks turn into two inch cracks, turn into six inch cracks over a couple years span, you're like, okay, that makes it's a little it's a little alarming. The house itself has slid about eight inches off the foundation, and Trevor says the main water supply, which is now fully exposed, has to be repaired about every six months. The problem stems from where the house is located, directly overlooking Anderson Reservoir, which has been completely drained for a federally mandated seismic retrofit. The homes on Hoot Owl Way were built back in the 50s on an ancient landslide, and the belief is that the draining of the lake has accelerated the Earth's movement. But Trevor thinks it dates back to the 2017 Coyote Creek flood. He says after that event, the lake managers began rapidly drawing the water level down after any significant rain. And that's when things really started slipping. The whole idea that this is just like an act of God in nature is not true. This is a man-made catastrophe on their, on their mismanagement. Chris Hakes, Valley Water's deputy operating officer, doesn't dispute that changes in the reservoir are contributing to the slippage. Draining of the lake, uh, operating of the reservoir in general, uh, those things do uh, have an impact on some of the movement. But he says that's exactly why the homes have to go. Part of the seismic project is to stabilize the banks of the lake, but there is no practical way to do that under the existing houses on Hoot Owl Way. Unfortunately, we can't let these homeowners stay. Um, that would be an implied warranty uh, that states that the, that the area is safe for occupancy, which we just can't do. Um, they will have to all evacuate. They will have to sell their properties. But who do you sell a house to if it has to be demolished? The water district says it will buy them all at fair market value. But that's where the real dispute lies now. Trevor says an appraiser valued his home at only $900,000, comparing it to similar sized houses in residential subdivisions. We live on a lakefront home, so if you're going to compensate us for a lakefront home, you should be comparing it to another lakefront home. He says it's not just a home, it's a lifestyle, and so far none of the neighbors have taken the district's offers. But if an agreement can't be reached, the water district could force a sale under eminent domain. No, we don't like to use the eminent domain um, process. It is afforded to us under law, uh, but you know that tends to uh, bring up some hard feelings. So far, the overall retrofit project has nearly doubled in cost and now stands at $1.2 billion. The neighbors on Hoot Owl Way are wondering why the district is only driving such a hard bargain with them. In Morgan Hill, John Ramos, KPIX 5. And so as you've kind of gleaned from that, the water district says one way or another, the homes are going to need to be removed by sometime in 2024.